what's going on YouTube? This is BMS1995. Here is part 4 of my Pokemon White walkthrough. Finally, I can start on my walkthrough again. My musical is over, I have lots of time now. So, I, now you, it's gonna be like this. Every weekend, we're gonna do two, two walkthrough episodes. That's how it's gonna roll now. Alright, so we're heading into a double battle. And I'm going to be using Fit Tomorrow and uh, Fire Monkey Balapu. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Shell Blade. Take out that Choroneko. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to go for a sand attack, which is going to lower, I think, my... Yeah, lower my accuracy. And now both of the new knows a new fire move called... I didn't really read it, but it was like Incarnate or something like that. It's again, it's a fire attack. So it looks like Flamethrower or Ember or something like that. Can you go for another Shell Blade? Probably take out this Shell Neko. Yes, it has. That was pretty easy. Now, you're probably wondering why I have that monkey in my party. Well, it turns out, in this game, in order to do a double battle, you have to have two people in your party. So that's why I had to go in my, into my box and get that monkey. But, we're done with that. Now we're gonna battle Charon. Now, I, I know in the last episode I said Chandler. I was thinking of some kid in my social class that sounds like that and I was just getting mixed up. And I also said, Team Platinum, not Team Plasma, and I'm happy that you picked that up. Okay, so he's gonna go for his, his um, Sataja. Gonna go for my Futachamaru, who's now level 20. Because I like doing... Like, every every time I've made an episode, like, for, like, training, and like, like side training, I, I bring up my Pokemon, like, at, like, five levels, so... That's just how it's gonna roll, so you guys don't see any training or wild Pokemon. But if they're important Pokemon, like, I run into a, like, a really rare Pokemon, then of course I'll show it, but like, whatever. So he's going for, I think, a leader to bring down my accuracy, or something like that. So I'm gonna go for a new move I learned called Fury Cutter. You all know what that does. <coughs> Sorry, I like that it's a little sore. Why does everybody have this stupid Pokemon? Whatever. Sorry, my nose is also a little clogged up, so just... Yeah. Ooh, what's going on here? Team Plasma. Uh-oh. Little child. <laughs> Alright, let's go take on Team Plasma. Well, just to let you know that for some reason, while I was making this video, my emulator was like being retarded and like being glitchy and like laggy. Like, it hasn't shown yet, but like, I'll just show you. Because I'm not actually talking and playing the game at the same time. I've made the video already, and then I talk. Just so... Because I'm not very good at improv, so I'm probably going to do this a few more times, like, recording. Nah. See, like, see, that was why. Yeah, my emulator's been acting really weird lately. I don't know. Maybe it's just the ROM, I have no idea. Whatever, so... I'm gonna take out this Mindzuni, or Mindzuni, sorry, is that an M or an N? It's an M, so it's Mindzuni. I'm gonna go for a shell with like, little leggy that is, but then it gets better. Sorry about that. Alright, we, we defeated this Plasma Grunt. Oh, great. You gonna take out these guys now? Are we gonna do a double battle? Because that didn't really make sense. We only battled the one of those two guys. Anyways, we're gonna... Alrighty. Team Plasma. But now we're gonna have a double battle with Team Plasma. We both have a mind at level 12. Put Tomorrow and Sataja. That's pretty fun. We're gonna go for 
Shellblade. Probably take out that mine too. Yes, I am. Okay, now he's gonna. Now his uh, attack is gonna go for Vine Whip. Probably, yeah, it doesn't do very much. Okay, it's only a level 14, that's pitiful. Maybe it's because I, I train too much. Disappointing. Okay, hold on, guys. <coughs> Sorry if that's really grossing you out. Whatever. Okay, so it looks like we de defeated these Team Plasma members. So are they going to leave? Please leave. Okay, we have a little bait over something. Oh, okay, they're gone. Now, I in this in this part I wasn't really sure where to go, so I just kind of like walk into the cave, explore. I like it how in this game when you go into a cave they they, they have like little raindrops. Yeah, see, I just edited that because there was a dumb wild Pokemon. Do you guys like it that I do that, or should I include the battles? You guys tell me in the comment section below. I personally think it's better. This makes the game more goes go more smooth, smoothly. Wow, I cannot pr pronounce my words. Alrighty, we're gonna get out of this cave. Oh, don't you guys hate that? As soon as you walk out of a cave, you battle a Pokemon like just uh, just before. Okay, now we're done. Now this is a very interesting trainer. I think this goes out to Ramber, who likes to uh, give hints on Pokemon Emerald, but who does that look like? That looks exactly like me and uh, Pokemon Emerald. So another hint, this is my own hint, that they're going to be remaking Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but we already know that's going to happen because we, we are hoping for Parkle, I mean Cypress, for Gold and Silver, but it happened. It just, it's going to happen eventually. There's no need to go. Is it gonna happen? Of course it's gonna happen. And it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited because that was the game that I grew up with. That was my first Pokemon game, was Pokemon Ruby. With a, uh, I had a Trico named Venusaur Lee. It was a really odd name. What's name? Oh, it's one of those pigeons. Like, that's not even an original Pokemon, it's just a pigeon. Like, I really don't get it. <laughs> okay, now we uh, defeated that trainer. We, we defeated May. Because it looks exactly like May. Now, this is where my emulator crashed. So I had to do all this all over again, just to get, like, right there. That's where it crashed, right there. It sucks. Like, <laughs> there's nothing I can really do about it, like... I don't want to save during walkthroughs just so I don't have to do that again because that kind of disrupts. Do we go this way? No, we do not. Okay. Because that just kind of like connects. Ugh, leg. Hate leg. Don't worry, I'll fix that problem. Because now I've... Like, this is an older video because I made this a few weeks back because I thought I was going to have time to make this video, but I didn't. So this is really old, but now I have a better recorder. So it's probably going to look a little better in my next walkthrough. So, which is going to come out tomorrow, part five. Oh, trainer, trainer. Okay, little little lad, schoolboy Al. Oh my goodness, I don't want to be a juicy peel lonely guy, but it's Dennis. No, I'm just kidding. Dennis, Dennis the menace. Dude, I'm really happy. A few months back, GCP11, GCP11 actually became my friend. I flipped out. Like, I'm like, oh my god, the top Pokemon guy on YouTube wants to be my friend. And I just kind of freaked out. Oh. Charon. Or should I call him Champ? Where should I guys? Charon Chamlin. No, I'll just call him Charon. Alrighty. <clears throat> I sound retarded today. Just try to get by all these trainers. I think we're all, yeah, we're almost done here. Almost done. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so gonna be our last trainer of Z episode. Schoolboy Shahi, Shahi, Shahai. I love these Asian. I love these Japanese names. They're so funny. Okay, he's gonna send another pigeon. I hate these pigeons. Make them a little more original. Like, that's stupid. Okay, so Water Gun easily takes out that pigeon. He's gonna go for a Dangler? 
Well, is that the same thing? Is that, is that another kitchen? Oh! Um... Yeah, I actually encountered one of these in that cave, but I skipped the battle, but it's not important. Wow. Sturdy. Yeah. So it has like one HP left. Because I think I used Water Gun and... Oh yeah. Whatever. He's over. Defeated. 119 XP, and now he's level 21. I defeated the schoolboy Chitty. Okay guys, this is BMS 1995, signing out and see you guys tomorrow.